Shalom, shalom. I want to start by giving our praises to the Lord Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Kakadash. Um, when I get out of, uh, my name's Brendan Park from the camp of Prophets in Babylon down here in Tempe, Florida. And um, I want to get double honest out in the Apostles' Great Millstone, Peace of Blessings to Hopeful Elect. Uh, and I want to get into a short, quick lesson, you know, that's just been on my spirit, it's been on my mind. No meditating on it, you know. I want to call this class title this class to like you take reproof, love reproof, be reproved. All right, you know, because when you come to this truth, you must be able to take reproof, you must be able to love the reproof, you must be able to be reproved and change. All right, you know, and by doing that, you must let go of your ego, you must humble your spirit, you know, humble your mind. You know, humble yourself overall, you know, because a powerful heart is only going to fail you in this truth. All right. You know, and you got to think about it. You know, the Lord. All right. Pit men over you. The Lord pit men under you. The Lord pit. If you have brothers in this truth, the Lord put those brothers around you. And the cause of that to be is so you can be able to be reproved. All right. The Lord gave blessed us, you know, with the internet. You know, the internet can be a blessing and a, and a cursing. All right, but it's a blessing because it spreads this truth, man. All right, it spreads the gospel, man. All right, and you can, you can be able to contact and stay in contact with brothers from across the world, you know, from other parts of the world, you know, and these brothers can reprove you, you know. So you must be able to take that reproof, love the reproof. And be reproved. Alright. And Lord bless you with brothers to be able to do that. You know. And the Lord can be talking through those brothers to be able to do, do, to do that man. Alright. So a lot of guys come to this thing. Alright. All big and bold. With, uh, with high egos and high pride. And very prideful man. Alright. Their ego be bust when they come to this truth. Your ego. Your ego. Your pride. Everything. That you can't tell me nothing spirit. All right. It's either it's it's either you're gonna let go of that spirit, or you're gonna be let go of the spirit. You know, the spirit of the truth, the spirit of gospel. You know, the Lord's gonna you know take the spirit out of you, man. And the the spirit's taken out of you, man. And it was meant to be. All right. Um. That's what brings me to this Proverbs chapter fifteen verse ten says corrupt corrupt. Correction, Salakia, is grievous unto him that forsaken that way. All right. All right, Salakia, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. All right. So, correction, reproof, is going to be grievous to the men that forsaken the way. All right. That forsaken the way of truth. You know, it may, it may, it may fuck you up a, a little bit at first. All right, but brother will... Uh, Ultimately, come to an understanding. A true brother of this, of this gospel, you're gonna ultimately come to an understanding. You're like, damn, you know, this brother's right, man. All right. Especially if you know your spirit already was, already was telling you, you know, something was off with you know the things that you were doing, or however you felt you you know you was, you know, um, falling off, or, or going off. You know, the spirit was already telling you. So then, when this brother comes to you, all right, the the spirit. You, the, the spirit can't help but, you know, but they'll agree with it, man. It can't deny what this brother is telling you, especially, you know, if it's been trying to, the spirit been trying to, you know, you've seen it in the spirit, the spirit been trying to tell you that before. So now the Lord used a brother to tell you. You know, the Lord will bring a brother, you know, to be able to show you, man, the correct way. All right. And it's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing that we have brothers to be able to do that, you know. But it says, and he that hateth reproof shall die. All right, so like I said, you know, the Lord could take that spirit away from you, man. Either the spirit away from you or the spirit of truth away from you, man. All right, pride goes before destruction. All right, so you're prideful before you die. All right, a lot of guys be prideful before they go. You know, and when I mean go, I mean by judgment. All right. I mean, the Lord taking your ass out. The Lord, you know, have 
you getting taken taken out, you know, the um <clears throat> by some craziest by some crazy shit, man. Alright. You know, and he take that spirit away from you at the end of the day. Alright. So, um, like I was saying, man, you know, the correction that correction is only grievous unto them, you know, that forsaken the way, man, that forsaken the truth. It's gonna be grievous unto them, man, because it's like, you know, no they no longer, you know, have the spirit, they no longer have you know, the, the the strive, the drive to be able to continue in this truth. So then it's like when brothers get on you, it's like <laughs> that brother will end up falling out, man. I'd rather be like, damn, bro, I, I already don't even know. I already don't even fuck with it. And now you got brothers over getting on my ass and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The brothers, next thing you know, brothers is falling off, man. Brothers is going into the dark, you know. All right. See, you got to be able to take that reproof, man. Alright. Let me see. Uh because another way you gotta think of it as is back then if we you know, when the Lord was on the earth, you know, would you be able to take you know, reproof from him? Alright. Alright. You know, would you be able to take that reproof from from the Lord? All right, hold on. It's <laughs> lucky. Like As I was saying, though, you know, you got to think about it, man. <laughs> if you was around when the Lord was around, would you be able to take the reproof that the Lord would give you, man? Because, you know, the Lord speaks through brother, man. You know, and the Lord looked just like brother, you know, back in the day. All right. So it's like, would you be able to take that reproof? Would you be able to, you know, let the Lord, you know, accept the correction for the Lord, man? All right. If you can't even accept it from... From 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 your own brother, how could you expect this accept it from the Lord, man? To be to to be able to uh be willing to accept it from the Lord, we accept the reproof, you know, from the Lord. You have about me all the time, man. All right, but uh, right here, this is John chapter one, our first John chapter four, and. And 20. It says, If a man say, I love Yahweh, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love Yahweh, whom he hath not seen? Alright, so if a man say he, he loved the Lord, but hateth his own brother, you know, you hate your own brother, you know, you got a grudge, you hold grudges against his brother, so you can't, you can't accept his reproof. You can't accept when this brother, you know, correct you. Are you being corrected by this brother? You know. It says, for he that loveth his loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen. So he that loveth not your own brethren, you know, your own brother that's been in been in war with you, you know, striving with you in the same camp as you. Alright. How can how much more can you love the Lord, man? How much more can you accept correction from the Lord if the Lord was on the earth, man? If the Lord was in the flesh, all right? Could, how much more could you accept that reproof, man? If you can't even accept the own reproof from your brother, you can't even accept the own reproof or love your brother in the same, you know? Or you feel this type of way. Or you feel that type of way, you know what I'm saying? All that bullshit got to go out the window, man. All right? Brothers got to learn how to, you know, be corrected. All right, because not only was that cor that correction is to, you know, just to get on your ass, but it's to teach you something. If you take the correction, you gain more understanding. You gain more, you know, um, knowledge. Now you can now you can correct the next brother once that brother, you know, does do the same mistake. All right, iron sharpen sharpen of iron, man. All right, brother's gonna be able to sharpen you. 
all right, through corrections, you know, through y'all fellowshipping, through, you know, y'all can be able to sharpen it to each other, man. You go off, brother, you know, tell you you're going off. Don't get mad at that, brother, man. Brother, bring right out scriptures, man. You get mad at him. Oh, man, you got me. Here, here you go. Here you go, bro. You know, that's your fucking flesh, man. All right, that's called being a carnal nigga. Because carnal niggas can't take correction. Carnal niggas can't, you know, uh, love correction. All right. They can't be reproved. <laughs> they hate it. All right. So, um, come and get this. It says, Proverbs chapter 15 and verse 31. If you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. All right. So, if you listen to the construct constructive criticism. All right. Let's get that word constructive real quick. Mm. It says, serving a useful purpose, tending to build up. All right. So you're accepting constructive, you know, criticism. You're, you know, that, that, that's building you up. All right. Brother might just, you know, the brother's going to disapprove. You know, when you get corrected, the brother's disapproving your a actions that you're doing. The things that you're doing, the brother disapproving you of that, all right? And he's telling you what to actually, what you need to do to build up, to build yourself, to understand, you know, you, you for the grow, man, all right? Get off of this shit, man. You know, it's, it's not helping you. You know, do, do you not want to be saved? Do you not want to see the, be in a chariot? You know, so at the end of the day, you know, the Lord, you know, that brother's going to be able to give you constructive criticism, man, all right? Criticism that's, that's going to build you, all right? Not break you down. All right, and if you're broke, if you get broken down, it's because you have demons on you, man. You have evil spirits on you, and you're not of the truth. It wasn't for you to be of the truth if you get broken down, man. If you fall out, if you become on this, go into the dark, it's not for you, man. All right. It says, if you reject discipline, all right. So if you reject the discipline, you know, because of correction, all right, is a form of discipline. All right. Anything that makes you uncomfortable and gives you um, positive results, all right, that's called discipline, man. You go to the gym, you know, you're not, you're not, you don't want to want to just keep going to the gym and lifting up heavy weights. Your flesh don't want to do it. You don't want to wake up in the in the, in, the, in the at four a.m. to lift heavy weights, but you do it, man, because it's gonna give you good results. That's discipline. You change your diet around. That's discipline. It makes you uncomfortable, but it gives you the great results. It says you only harm yourself. So if you reject this discipline, you're only going to harm yourself, man. All right? You're not harming anybody else but yourself. This discipline is to help you. This correction is to help you. This correction is to give you a guide. To make it easier on you. All right? Now, it might, it might you know, it's going to be a strong course. It's going to be a hard course to go through, but you got to go through it, man. Nothing's easy. All right, when you ever when you you can't never achieve for something and for and it's going to be easy, man. It says, "But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding." So like I said, man, you know, correction is not just about a brother getting on your ass, man. It's about a brother getting on your ass, telling you what you need to do. So now you grow an understanding. Now you know, okay, I can't do this. And you're able to tell other brothers, you know, when you see other brothers do that mistake, man. You know how to correct other brothers on it, man. Oh, but I used to do this. I used to do the same shit, man. But you got to be able to, you know, bada boom, bada bam, man. All right? And then that's when brothers are able to grow. That's how brothers are able to grow. When brothers get corrected, that's how you're able to grow, man. <laughs> when you come to this thing and you're not being corrected, all right? You got to you gotta watch them brothers around you, man. If you ain't being corrected, man, look, look around, man. <laughs> I might not be your brothers for real, bro. Them brothers might not, you know, even fuck with you for real. All right, because you're going to go off. All right? You know, we're in these flesh. We're not perfect. You know, you're going to go off. So brothers should be able to, you know, you got brothers to be able to see that and to correct you when you're going off. When you're going off, you know, brother's able to see, okay, this brother, he brother ain't in his right mind right now. Let me, you know, go talk to him real quick. That brother talks to you, 
Are you stopping on that, brother? You stopping on the Lord, man, because the Lord is speaking through this, brother, man. I don't worry like that. What the fuck? You know, he can't take this reproof. All right. You know, if words can't teach him, adversity will. So you keep doing what you're doing. The Lord's going to jack your ass up, man. All right. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 20 and verse 3. It says, how good it is it when thou art reproved to show repentance for so shalt thou escape willful sin. So how good is it when you're reproved, man? All right. And for you to show the repentance, to show that you repented, man. All right, how good is it, man? All right, for you're going to be able to escape the willful sin. All right? Because it's the one thing when you get re reproved, but you don't uh, you don't show repentance. All right, that's why I say, that's why I titled it, um, take reproof, love reproof, be reproved. All right? Because when you're reproved, all right, you taking the reproof. You've been reproved. Now you gotta take the reproof. Now you gotta show that you re you repentance, man. You show your repentance, man. All right. You gotta be able to be reproved, man. All right. So now you're able to escape, you know, that willful sin because you repentant, man. Now you're not now you're not gonna do that shit no more. But if you sitting there, you still doing it, man. You wasn't really re you didn't you didn't repent. Now you're doing willful sin. All right, now that's willful sin. You no know, brothers got on your ass. You still doing it, man? It's willful sin. All right, you know. But I'm gonna get this last precept and close out with this, real quick. Proverbs chapter twenty four and verse eight, uh, sixteen. It says, for a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. All right, so a just man is going to fall, you know, several times, man. Several meaning com completion, man. All right, so a just man is going to fall, fall many times, man. All right, but, uh, but you're going to rise up again. All right, that man will rise up again. All right. He's going to, you know, and those rising up again, most of those rising up again is going to be from him being reproved, man. All right, you fell off now, brother. Coming in to help you up, man. You fell down. A brother's gonna be there to help you up, man. And you been reproof, and you accept that reproof, man. But the wicked fall into mischief, man. The wicked ain't gonna be able to be reproved. The wicked hate reproof. All right, so they're gonna fall into mischief. They're gonna fall into more sin. They're gonna fall into more iniquity. They're not gonna, you know, repent because they're too prideful to take the repent, uh, the, the reproof, man. So why would they want to repent now? All right. You know, so the, the wicked going to fall into that mischief, and then next thing you know, they're going to be judged for that, man. You know? God, man. You know, but hey, you know, that's all we want to get on that. You know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the hopeful like the ones listening in. I want to get double honest to elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Akim.